Here's our Monday strength and conditioning work. You should have already done a little bit of a warm up to get the blood flowing, soft tissue work where necessary, and a mobility series. So now we'll get into some ballistics. We're gonna start off with either a jump rope or a boxer's jump, boxer's shuffle type movement, right? So if you have a jump rope and you wanna use a jump rope, go for it. Otherwise, you can just kind of take a little bit of a staggered stance where we're going into a boxer's bounce. Basically the same thing as uh, you'd be doing at the jump rope. And this is it, we're gonna go 60 seconds, right? So relatively high volume. Just get a little bit of a weight shift right to left. You can go left leg lead, you can rotate, you can get a right leg lead. But what you wanna focus on is a relatively stiff ankle and short, quick ground contact time. Get a little bend in the knee, nice and bouncy. 60 seconds, then rest for roughly 60 seconds. And we're shooting for three to four sets there. Check your program for the exact number. Paired with that is a velocity push-up push up with a shoulder tap. So we're focusing on one arm at a time. You can do it with both hands on the ground if you have something like a book or a block, that would be excellent. I'm focusing on my left hand. Whichever hand is elevated is the working hand. So I'm in that push-up position, nice stable stance, core is engaged. I come down and I push through that left hand. Shoulder tap at the top. I hit four to five reps, whatever your program says, and I change sides. Again, now I'm focusing on my right hand. Drive through, nice and quick coming. So you're alternating with the jump rope or boxer's bounce and the single arm explosive push-up with shoulder tap. So those are your ballistics. Moving on to our strength work. Our first circuit has three exercises. A speed skater squat, a pseudo one-arm push-up, and a straddle hollow body hold. So let's start with that speed skater squat. Now, we can adjust this depending on your level of capabilities. Best case scenario, this is what we're doing. I'm planting my left leg, I'm coming into a single leg squat until my right knee hits the ground. Up tall. Right knee taps the ground, up tall. To help balance, I'm doing some running mechanics with my arms. That's best case scenario. If we need to modify it a little bit, we can do a few things. We can aim our back knee at a higher target, so now I'm not going down quite as low. You can vary the size of the target. Another way we can modify it is with a little bit of band assistance. So I have my band, I anchor it somewhere uh, a little higher than my head, and I use it to help me go through the movement. And again, if you can't get a full range of motion, that's okay. Work with wherever you're at, pushing yourself just to the edge of your capabilities. But best case scenario, we lightly tap that back knee on the ground and drive up. Rips wide. Reps, we should be going for 10, but check your program for any variation. Uh, number two, we're moving from lower body to upper body. We have a pseudo one-arm push-up. So this is like a one-arm push-up with a little assistance from the opposite arm. So I'm gonna focus on my right arm to start. It's gonna be planted close to my torso, where my left arm is coming out just for a little assistance. I'm gonna try to keep my left arm on the fingertips so I'm not using it very much. The majority of my body weight is on my right side. My elbow is pretty close to my torso to give me some good leverage. All proper push-up mechanics apply. Glutes and abs engaged. Left hand is just lightly helping out. Right now, I probably have 80% of my weight on my right arm and 20% on my left. Depending on your capabilities, you can shift a little more or a little less. Shooting for roughly eight on each side, but check your program. Number three, we have a straddle hollow body hold. Let me grab the mat for this one. We're working off the basic hollow body holds that you've probably been working on for a few weeks 
through your program. So we start from the bent position, shoulders up off the ground, so you're coming into a crunch, feet off the ground. Now the legs are going to extend and split, right? That's the straddle part. And I'm holding. Let me turn to give you a view of the legs, right? Shoulders off the ground, I'm reaching in between the legs. Knees are locked, so my quads are engaged. Toes pointed, I have a little turn out, external rotation of my legs. And I'm holding. Check your program, it's probably going to be between 30 to 60 seconds. If you can hit three sets of 60 seconds, then we start to progress. Likely, where you're going to feel it is your adductors. And 60 seconds is a long time for your adductors to hold your legs in that position, but we're trying to build strength there, so this is a good thing. So those are our first three strength exercises. We have the speed skater squat, the pseudo one-arm push-up, and the straddle hollow, straddle hollow body hold. Get all of your rounds of those in, and then we can move to our B exercises. Single leg calf raise, band scaption, Copenhagen plank. Single leg calf raise will probably look familiar. We're trying to build some volume and reps. So, if you can, get a little elevation, something for balance, Midfoot is uh, hanging off the step, and we're going to have a bit of a bend in the knee, roughly 30 degrees, maybe 45 degrees. Sink the heel, drop. Little pause at the bottom, little pause at the top. Working towards 20 to 25 reps on each side. Relatively high volume. Number two is a band scaption. So we take our band. You kind of have to play around with the first set or two to find the right tension. I have my anchor hand at my hip and my working hand supinated coming up and across the body. It's kind of like drawing a samurai sword or at the top of the movement, it should look like a seat belt coming across your torso. My moving arm stays long and strong and if I have it in my right hand, you should be feeling it around that right scapula down to the middle of the back. We're looking at roughly uh, 20 reps on each side, again, accumulating a bit of volume there. Number three, our core and adductor exercise is a Copenhagen plank. There are a few different ways that we can do this. If you don't have any equipment, we can do it on the floor. It will look like a side plank with the bottom leg tucked, like so. So a lot of my support is coming from my top leg's adductors. Hold for whatever time is on your program, probably 20 to 30 seconds, and then switch sides. Another way you can do this is with a little elevation. If you have a chair or a bench, we can play with that. We can do a short lever where your knee is bent, so my top knee is on the bench, knee is bent 90 degrees, and then I bring up the bottom leg. If you have access to a bench or a chair, this is a great way to do it. 20 to 30 seconds. If you find that this is becoming a little easy, lengthen the lever. So now, my foot and ankle are on the bench, and I'm coming up into position. This is challenging. 20 to 30 seconds, you should feel those adductors light up. So those are our B exercises. Single leg calf raise, band scaption, Copenhagen planks. Have at it. If you have any questions, shoot me a message and get strong.